So I've been getting asked a little bit to explain some ground targets in the game and uh, especially the difference between armored and non-armored. So I'm just going to run through a few different things. I'm going to do a training flight. Just chose this IL because it's easy to fly around slow and, and explain a few things so that you can see the difference between the two. So, I'm going to pick something that's, um, I can show you, see command centers and mining plants are probably the best places, so ideally you get this map, it's kind of perfect for getting the most out of armored ground targets um, and it'll be the easiest to explain. I'm just going to grab him. <clears throat> Attention! <coughs> you are entering the combat zone. Get ready for battle. Good luck. So I'll fly over to the mining plants because they've got the most armored ground targets. Go there first and then I'll go over to the command center and show you a few different spots to maximize your armored targets. Pilots, get ready for action. Typically go. you're going to find out that if the target only takes one hit with a plane like this, it's probably not armored. But what you're going to see in a second, I'll do some zooming in. On each of your ground targets, you're going to see two different types of markers when you zoom in on them. Uh, there's going to be a circle marker and a square marker. All the square markers are armored all the circle, circle markers are unarmored. So once we get a little bit closer, I'll hit the alt and things will start coming up. So you can see there's a square right there. That's going to be armored. This, you can see there's a square here. If it doesn't have a square, like behind there, that is not armored. So when you see these heavily armored targets here, there's five targets. Sorry, six targets in that one. So that's going to be six armored targets. This one here will have two. This one here will have three. Here, all of them are armored. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, sorry, not the smokestacks. Six there. You'll see these little chicken coop looking buildings that I just flying over. Those are not armored, but the other three big buildings are armored. So when you come through mining plant, if you want to maximize your armored targets without taking the plant, just concentrate on these bits. That one there. Concentrate on these. Come through, and if you do decide to bomb, bomb or hit your rockets. But Try not to kill any specific target all the way, and you'll be able to maximize it. Now, that's a little bit harder if you're defending and whatnot, or if you actually do need to capture to win, but that's basically how you can determine the difference between armored and non-armored. Like I say, most of these, uh, most of your, your capture points are going to have some armored, some non-armored. I don't believe, I'll have to double check, but I don't believe any airfields have armored targets. So you might as well just skip those. Um, garrisons will have armored targets, but again, you just have to look for the square versus the circle. But we'll just fly over to the command center. the airfield just in case but you can see as we're getting closer to the airfield there's no squares just circles now if you get an air base that's a little bit different 
air bases definitely have a few armored targets. Now the interesting thing when you get down in here is warships. So as a target, there's nothing armored on a warship. So I would stay away from them unless you want to cap the base. But you can see again, nothing armored in this target. It's not till you get to these big radar installments here that are armored. And for instance, this one, there's three, so one, two, three. <clears throat> when you come over here, there's four, so the big radar tower is. And then these three long buildings. So those three long buildings there, you'll also see at garrisons. They are armored at garrisons too. So pay attention, and if you want armored targets at garrisons, check those out. Now typically also, if you're looking at anti-air, um, the anti-air guns that concentrate on high altitude stuff, that is all, they'll have two armored bunkers, but not all of your anti-air that is for low targets, low flying targets. Most of those do not have armor. So if you look on this map too, you can see stuff with squares. This is again if you turn the alt on. The stuff with squares are going to have armored bits in it. The stuff with, um, oh, sorry, I guess not. Um, the stuff with triangles is definitely not. Um, the stuff with squares might have armored stuff, but it's not until you get a little bit closer to the see. But when we get to the command center, you'll probably see a few more anti airs pop up, and I'll fly over and show you. Kind of like when we were at, over at the mining plant, you saw, when you zoom in, you'll get these big anti-airs, looks like a house. That's for the high altitude stuff, if you don't know that already. And each of these will have two armored targets, and there are these bunkers on the sides. But, like I say, when you come over to the lower ground target, that, so this one happens to have two bunkers, and those two bunkers are definitely armored. And this one does too. Some of them don't. Oh, here's a good one. So if you look at these, they just have the three houses. Those are not armored. So I wouldn't worry about hitting those. It's nice to take out the guns, but that's only just because it doesn't. But you can see, like, this one. It's got the three houses. Three houses are not armored. This one has one house and two bunkers. The bunkers are definitely armored. So, anyway, that pretty much explains the difference between your armored and your non-armored. So I hope that helps. And it's real good if you're trying to get those missions with the 45 sections of armored ground targets in one match.